Hey guys, it's October 7th, 2020. I'm Kimberly Jolly from Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube. Super excited to be here with you today. Today we are launching Stitchtober 2020, which is a joint collaboration with me and Lori Holt. And if you wanna see what Lori Holt is showing, we're gonna show that in a little bit. And what I'm gonna show right now is what I've worked on this past week. Um, I got everything done my goals all met except for one little small thing and I'll show it to you. So I'm gonna kind of walk through what I did this week and then we'll talk a little bit about what I'm gonna do starting this week. Um, so my very first item is, let's see, Mix and Match Stitchtober. So I have it in this beautiful bag. This is from Crosshatch Quilts. She does not have an Etsy, she only has an Instagram. So I'm going to kind of pull everything out of my bag. So this is right here, a free layout right here that Lori Holt has done. And then you use her stitch cards and other patterns to fill in. And I've seen a lot of comments of, well, how many do you have to buy? And really, um, you only have to buy three different sets of stitch cards because they all have four in them. So I did this on like early in the week and then this I think on day three. So um, it will be using set C, set A, set F, set D, and Quilty Love. Now of course you don't have to buy all of these. And it's also using one of the blocks from Farm Girl Fall. So you can download this little piece, which is the border and you can follow along. I'm gonna do mine exactly like Lori's. So when you see Lori's, I'm just doing hers. Some, some years we do them the same, some years we don't. Because all of this had so much in the bag, like I had so much going on, I put my little floss flowers in here and that's what I'm using. And then basically I pulled from my stash which ones I already had on floss flowers and then I'm leaving these separate and that way I can use up kind of what I already have, but this bag got a little busy with all the things. So that was day one and day three, I think, if I'm remembering right. And so this week, I am going to do this one right here on Thursday and this one on Friday. So this one is a jack-o'-lantern from set F and this one's gonna be a black cat from set F. The great thing about this is all I have to do is fill in. And this is how I put it in my bag. A lot of you guys ask, I literally just um, fold it up. Sometimes I roll it, sometimes I fold it in a square. Kind of just depends what kind of mood I'm in. And this is a cute little charm from Lori Holt. It goes with the Prim series that we're gonna show in a little bit. So the border took me um, six and a half hours and the hot chocolate block took like a, a little bit under two hours. So it shouldn't take me too long to start filling in. The next item for Stitchtober is Fright Night. So we have it in this cute little bag that we had made. I love this bag because it's canvas and I don't know, something about this bag I love. And let's see. I don't want to pull everything out because I'm going to give away my stuff, give away the future ones. So if you buy this, this is a PDF and it's a mystery and Cody designed it. And so this is part one and I put all of my week's dye works on my brand new Halloween floss bitties and I just cut out the little part and put it on here and then what somebody else did which is genius i'm going to show you i saw it this morning and i forgot your name so i'm sorry i'm not giving you credit um but i saw it this morning on facebook i thought it was awesome so this is also what you could do if you wanted to do your floss bitties this way without taking that name off this is what she did i was like oh my gosh i should have thought of that so she just put, I think she put it on this side. I know, I saw it on Facebook this morning. I was like, why didn't I think of that? 
So then you just put it on here. You don't even have to cut it off. So hello, that was smart. I should have done that. Yeah. It would have saved us time. <laughs> both, both Denise and I behind the camera are also going mind's blown. I know. So and then she put it on the side that has the logo and then she didn't cover up the cute part. So this one, let's see how long it took me. It took me a little bit over four hours and it's beautiful. So if you're doing this one, this Friday you will receive the PDF and we're gonna move to this part, which is right here. It's pretty intensive. Of course I haven't stitched it, but it looks pretty intensive. I'm thinking it's gonna take me about six hours. And on the letters, um, it's we it goes dark, medium, light, dark, medium, light, dark, medium, light. Now, one thing that I did because I wanted to show you this, is when I work with hand dyed floss, I use the loop method because I don't wanna have to do one square at a time. That just takes me too long. So you can see I really did get variegation even though I did it more as a row. But if you look at Cheryl's piece, this is the tags from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> if you look at Cheryl's, you can see that hers has more variegation than mine. And you can kind of see that in the L. So even though I do the loop method, I do get variegation. I just don't get as much as Cheryl. And honestly, if somebody walks in my house, they have no idea. And so I do whatever is um, quickest. So that is Fright Night. This is a five part series and it's a PDF and I love it. It has, um, we have this little pumpkin enamel needle minder that um, I've been using a lot and I like the size of it. This is my favorite one and that goes with it. And we also have this ghost charm. So super cute, very timeless accessories. And then let's see, so that was day one through three. Day four, I worked on Trucking Along by Priscilla and Chelsea. And this bag is by Dot Dot Goose Designs off of Etsy. And oh my goodness, this took forever. <laughs> this took almost six hours. So on this one, I did make some changes. I used the called for colors from Priscilla and Chelsea. And when she finishes hers, she does it in two pieces. And then this is like an added finishing. I'm gonna do mine as one piece. So what I did different is she has chickens. Priscilla and Chelsea have chickens at the top. What I did is I added pumpkins at the top and I drew it. And I'm gonna show you how I drew it because this is called Kimberly doesn't know how to do any, y'all, I don't know how to do anything graphics at all nothing you can ask denise and lily i have no idea so i opened a spreadsheet <laughs> and i literally took priscilla and chelsea's drawing here i took one from the bottom put it on top and just made it work but this is something that you can do and i'm not trying to give away the chart i'm sure priscilla and chelsea are going to be okay with this i just wanted to show that if you have no design skills like i don't know how to use adobe I don't know how to use it. I don't want to know how to use it. It's way over my head. I did this in Excel because it's the only way I knew how to do it. So that is one change that I made and I'm just kind of showing you so that you can see that if you want to make a change, you can and you can use, you can use graph paper or your computer. And I'm excited about this one. I'm excited that I'm going to finish it in October so that it's done for October. Now this week, I'm gonna work on this left border. That's what I'm gonna be working on right here is this left border. If I have extra time, I kinda will cheat and go into the right border. That's, I do try to cheat and get a little bit ahead each week. This week, I did not have time to do that though. The next one is Calvin and Trixie, also by Priscilla and Chelsea. And this is my Gingham on the Go bag. And we did a video on how you can use RF Floss to stitch on. It is a mesh bag. This one took me seven hours. It was a lot. So I also made changes on this one. I bought the called for colors 
because I have the kit, I'm in the club, but I did add one color. The color that I added was Key Largo, and I'm gonna show you what I did. So, and actually Chelsea helps me come up with this. So I was stitching this and I used 14 count Hazy Gray by Fabric Flare. What Priscilla and Chelsea used is Monaco that's dyed. So they dye it themselves. So I'm gonna get a different look because mine is lighter. And so I stitched this white pumpkin and it really didn't show up. So I asked Priscilla and Chelsea, well, do you think it shows up? And they said, no, just make another orange one, like get a different orange from your stash is what Priscilla said. And then Chelsea said, you could put an aqua. So I unstitched it, put an aqua, and then on the cheeks, it's orange here, and I just put white. So that was my change. And you can see I started cheating, like this is the right border. So I went ahead and did a little bit of that. I think it's super cute. I think my kids are gonna love this one. And you can see I'm using that same needle minder because it's just awesome. So that was a lot. I feel like I started with really hard stuff and I'm thinking this week might be a little bit easier. And then yesterday I did this one. This is Lori Holt's Prim bag. This bag has a lot of stuff in it too. I'm gonna just pull it all out. So on this one, I want to put these on the floss bitties. I just haven't had a had time. So those are my floss. I use the Weeks Dye Works. And this took me almost 10 hours. So I didn't finish the whole row though. Where's yours? So I'm gonna show you the difference between mine and Denise's. I stitched on 25 Count Barley by Lori Holt, and so did Denise, but I want to show you how... Okay, will you hold it just down? Okay, so this is DMC, and I'm gonna put the weeks, thank you, I'm gonna put the weeks next to it so you can see, so that if you haven't started, you can decide. So very similar. So I used Week Dye Works. I did one stitch at a, I mean, I did the rows. I did not do the um, one stitch at a time and I did the loop method. It looks very similar to the DMC. So just to show you the difference. And that's what I got done this week. This is the Lori Holt Prim Needle Minder. This is my other favorite one because it's so big. And so this week I am going to be working on, let's see, the Scarecrow. So I need to work on this, which is gonna take a long time. Now, the one thing I didn't finish is I didn't get all the pumpkins done. So it looks like I got it all done, but I did not. Some of the pumpkins are missing and some of the tops of the pumpkins are missing. So today, before I start today's, I might go ahead and start, like finish this and kind of do maybe do a little bit here and some of the parts I'm missing. So that's what I did for Stitchtober. I'm gonna answer Oh, and then next week, I have two things I'm going to start. This is today's Autumn Typography by, let's see, um, sorry, Pine Mountain Designs. And then I have my floss flowers in here. And this bag, Denise and I made. So Denise stitched this for me from our alphabet. And this is what I'm going to be stitching today. I'm using Water Lily by Witchell. So it's fun that this kind of matches, even though it doesn't. So that is today, and what I'm gonna do today is just this Hay Rides and Apple Cider. So that should probably, I don't know, take a couple hours. And then the only other one that I'm gonna work on this week that isn't in the previous batch is, Let's Talk Autumn by Hands on Design. And I think I'm gonna work on the Harvest Blessings. I think that's what I'm starting with. I'm gonna start at the top and go down. I'm using chalkboard black, and I put all of my thread on the stitchy floss bitties. There's not very many colors, and so I started with just winding them on here, and I might not use, I might end up not getting rid of this, I'm not sure. The little hook, I don't know that I need the hook. I kinda like it where I just throw everything in. 
So that's my plan for this week. Um, let me know what questions you have. I'll put everything back in here. Mm -hmm. And I'll answer any questions, and then I'm going to show you what Lori's been working on. Mm -hmm. Okay, from Princess P, Holly Martin, do you pick your own colors for the hot chocolate, etc., or is there some place those are listed? Okay, let me find the bag and I will show you. So, in our DMC thread pack, Denise put this together and it tells you everything that Lori used. So, Lori picked these colors and what Lori did. So it's in our thread pack. It's also, attached to the PDF. it's also attached to the PDF on our website and the PDF for the border is free. So that's where you find it. And so kind of what I did is on my um, pattern, what you can do, I'm gonna try to show you without giving away the pattern. Let me show you kind of what I did. Yeah, it is attached on our website. So if you just type Lori Holt Halloween 2020 mix and match. It's in the file. So what you can do on this, I'm going to cover this up right here. This is the pattern on this side. So what I do is here, it has her colors. Now if they change, I will just put a post-it note, a yellow post-it note on top, translate my colors from here, and then when I'm done, you just pull the post-it note off and then you can follow it when you get to your pattern. So that's kind of what I did to keep me, cause I do that, you know, that's, um, that's something that, um, I use post-it notes a lot. They're kind of all over the house, all over the, everywhere. Mm -hmm. all right, from Debbie Van Fossen, is it possible to have a bigger Fright Night chart? It is very hard to read. No. Huh? Because it's printable, right? It's printable. So um, I mean, I don't know if you could like zoom in, like take it to Office Depot, zoom in, and get it printed on like a 11 by 17. Yeah, so I think what when you hit print, you could, there's like a scaling on the side, and okay. you can make it bigger. It'll just print on multiple pages, but it will print it all. So that would be my Yeah, suggestion. that would be good. Yeah, see, I know nothing about tech. <laughs> <laughs> um, Scrap Fair Knit says, what kind of needles does Kimberly stitch with? I've been using Pat Carson and I use 24, 26, and 28 with um, my, most of this I use 26. Actually, all of these I use 26. The only time I use 24 is when I work on 10 count, which I did work on some 10 count this week that I will show you. And I keep the needle with each project. And then at the end, I just put it back if it's sticky, like if I've been eating um, Nutella in my chair and my hands are sticky, that's when I'll kind of get rid of it. But as long as it's stitchable, at the end of the project, I'll just put it in my bag and keep using until it, you know. Sometimes if they bend or something, I will get rid of them. But I don't, like, just use it for that one project. It kind of just depends. But I have been snacking a lot, and so sometimes... I have to throw them away because they get sticky and I can't get the sticky off. <laughs> sticky Nutella. Yeah. That's hilarious. Uh, both Lori Holt and Gabriel Fuentes had a great suggestion for the person asking about making the chart bigger. If you don't want to print it and you're using your iPad or your phone, you just download it and zoom in. Oh, yeah. Just zoom in. Yeah. yeah. That's a good idea. Thank you. See, I didn't think of that. And I know that Priscilla, when she stitches, she just uses an iPad. Mm -hmm. um, for me, I don't think I could ever do that. Um, first of all, I'd probably break the iPad because yesterday I broke, I almost broke my um, light because I used that, what is it called? Halo Go. Mm -hmm. And at the time I dropped it and then the magnifying thing came out, but it snapped back in. <laughs> I was like, if that's gone, I don't know what I'm going to do because I can't finish these pumpkins yeah. because I cannot see. Aww. But it worked. It, it, I fixed it. Uh, from Yvonne Suzmuth, what other background color would work for Fright Night? Only gray? I think a gray. You could do a darker gray or a lighter gray. I think beige would, would not, the white, there's a lot of white in it, and I don't think the white would show up. So you definitely need something, um, I would say gray, because if you put it on black, the next part's not going to show up. So it's got to be kind of a gray, really gray is your only option. But, I mean, you can go light to dark. 
Mm -hmm. You just want it to be at least medium because of the white. If you have it too light, your white's not going to show up on the next part. From Jennifer Daniel Johnson, is it easier to stitch on chalk chalkboard black versus true black 14 count Ada? My eyes adjusted quickly to the chalkboard black, but I think I might prefer the look of a true black. So what I can tell from just looking on social media, chalkboard black is easier. I haven't tried true black yet. Um, I kind of started with chalkboard black. I like it and I can see it. So I'm kind of sticking with that. We have gotten some new black and that's truer black. And I might try it in the future just to see what I think. But I do think from reading online that it is easier to see because the chalkboard black is more of a gray. If you're using black and you want help seeing it, you could put a white, like a white pillow in your lap because that would kind of put some white up or you could get a um, light box and put it down. Uh, a few people are suggesting purple and green as alternative background colors. I think someone's yeah, you, on a purple. Yeah, you a purple could. To show you later. We have a purple one to show you later. Excellent. And we can hold it up to this. Yeah. Mm. Um, I think it might be a little, You it, to me it might be a little much. It might be a little too much color going on <laughs> but it would pop out it would pop mm -hmm. uh, from bonnie newman i uh, thanks i also have a pattern and hand dyed floss it bleeds when i steam ironed it is it possible to do something so it doesn't bleed okay so some of the hand dyed floss will say color fast which means it doesn't bleed some of it is not color fast so i would just not use steam when you use hand dyed floss mm -hmm. now i use steam on mine but mine haven't bled but i also just kind of do it real quick i don't leave it on a long time or you could use um, yarn tree sells um we sell it it's a yarn tree brand it's a pressing cloth and it's basically like foam mm -hmm. like a like a quarter inch foam and you put it on top but the heat will go through the foam you could try that also uh, and okay, from JP, Tom JP Thompson, I know that she has talked about this before, but does Kimberly stitch the white color first or does she stitch the colors then put the white around it? I always stitch the white first. So any of the stuff that I did this week that was Priscilla and Chelsea's, I did the white and then the colors. And sometimes if I'm doing something, I will do all, like there's one time where I just did all of the whole, it was on the chalk bowl. I did everything white and then filled in. Most of the time I'll do like part of the white fill in, part of the white fill in just because it keeps me interested and you know you get to start seeing your design but I do do the white first now some people don't um, but I do and so now I'm going to show you kind of what Lori is working on you can follow her on Instagram at blori1 or you can follow her YouTube channel which is Lori Holt so I'm going to show you what she's been working on she's been working on pumpkins for sale and she's using weeks dye works and she changed her fabric no she didn't barley sorry it's barley okay what she did she did she dyed it so she took her barley 25 count and she did a video on her youtube channel on how to coffee tea dye so or yeah tea dye so you can see that and she made that cute little um floss holder i want her to make me one it's so cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, <clears throat> sorry. <coughs> On the bottom left, you can see that's how she uses her, <laughs> her design board. And then she's got that big needle minder. And that needle minder, you can actually put scissors on also. So that's mostly what Lori worked on. She did work on some other stuff, and it's all on her Instagram. Um, and so I want to show you some other stuff. Okay, so this week, um, Country Cottage Needleworks came out with a club, and so Lily's going to show you the image of it. She put this up on Tuesday, I think, Monday or Tuesday, and it is a sampler of the month. The stitch count is 45 by 125 each month. It's meant to be stitched individually and not as a whole. And so we put together two clubs. And you can see the fabrics here. We're gonna be doing 16 count Ada, which is here, or you can get 32 count linen. And this is the different colors. 
It's called Beautiful Beige by Witchell, and I just want you to see the difference in the color because linen and Ada take fabric dye differently. So if you do Ada, it will be a lighter color. If you do the linen, it will be um, a little bit darker. All of the floss used is Classic Color Works. And the way that we're doing our club is in the first month, which will be November or December, you will get your pattern for January. You will get a one yard piece of one of these colors, whether you pick Ada or Linen, and all the floss for the entire series. And then they framed theirs in the family tree frame and we put it on order so that if you want to buy one of the frames, you could switch it out each month. And so, and then the months two through 12, you will just get the pattern. So very similar to how we've done our other cross stitch clubs. I'm gonna show you how the thread looks on the fabric too, because that's another, if you wanted to just buy the patterns and the floss separately, they are going to list the DMC colors in the patterns. They have not released that information yet. If you want to use fabric from your stash, I think that, what's the color I use all the time? Lamb's wool. Lamb's wool would look good. So that's a brand new club. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, it's designed by Country Cottage Needleworks. The floss is Classic Color Works. The fabric is Beautiful Beige by Witchell, and it's meant to be stitched individually. And Denise is going to do a chart so that when you get your first piece that's one yard, it's gonna tell you exactly how to cut it up so that you cut it up in that first month. And um, Denise is gonna do that chart for you because obviously I don't know how to do graphics. Hmm. If I ever had to go get like a real job and not work here, I don't know what I would do because like you have to know how to do that stuff these days and I just don't. Mm -hmm. Kevin does. I'm like, it's, it, this is, feels like a very real job. Well, oh <laughs> like, yeah, okay. yeah, that's true. It is a real, it's more than a real job. I'm just being, yeah. I don't know. I'm like kind of in a weird mood because I was telling them I almost had like three car accidents on the way to work and there was cops everywhere and I don't know what was going on, but I was like, I just need to get to work, people. <laughs> and I don't, like, I don't get road rage. I don't ever get upset. But like this lady, I don't honk. That's not something I do. This lady like almost hit me and I was like honking so that she wouldn't hit me. Yeah. And she was just like, whatever. And then she did like a U-turn in the middle of the road. I'm like, oh, okay, man. not only are you gonna hit me, you're gonna hit someone else, lady. Like, you need to calm down. I was like, we all just need to get to work. <laughs> but yeah, I got here like 30 minutes late because of the traffic. There was, um, yeah, because of the traffic and um, there was cops like everywhere. Uh, okay, we had a super chat from Doc Doc Goose Design Denise for ten dollars, and she says from Miss Gracie. Thank you, for Gracie's little her little kitty cat. Oh, how sweet! Thank you, Denise. Yeah, thank you. And then we had a question from MJ: Is Classic Color Works variegated or just hand dyed? Both. It is um, hand dyed. I can show you the variegation, and I can show you like some has more variegation and some has less. So for example, white. You know, this is pretty white. And then some will have more variegation than others. So this is wagon wheel. Okay, can you zoom in a little bit? So you can see that, thanks. This is much darker over here than this. So this, so like when you stitch this, it'll be darker. This would be lighter. Um, the really tealy doesn't have as much variegation. Every skein is different. The little sprout, if you kind of turn it, you can see there is variegation. Mm -hmm. So every color, every skein is always going to be different. From Kathy Birch, what will be the monthly charge after you pay the $114 up front? $648 a month plus shipping. And so we did list the shipping down below. If you're in the US, your shipping will be free in the month one, and it will tell you the price. The month one price is much higher than the other months because you're getting your fabric and all your floss and everything up front. And then what you can do is just cut your fabric, 
serge it if you want to or zigzag the edge if you want to i am going to be stitching all of these so um i'm adding it to my list that's already this long but yeah i really like it um when i saw it i was like oh that's totally me um the only thing is it's 16 count so i usually stitch on 14 count but the reason i'm going to do it on 16 count is i really want it to fit in that frame because the frame is cute and then that way i don't have to go to hobby lobby and worry about how to finish it it's already i figured out the frame we don't have a ship date on the frames yet we just ordered them two days ago and so they're handmade and hand painted so hopefully we will get them um soon but obviously the chart's not even out so we got time mm -hmm. but i am very excited about it um those colors are perfect and i already i was thinking about it last night so i have january snapshots which i will sh we've um, shown you but it's a club that we're doing i'm gonna have this club I have chalk full series that I've done and not chalk full, trucking along. And then I have the um, Sam cottages of the month. So in my house, I'm going to have four Januaries. At some point, my kids are going to be like, what is going on with you, lady? Like, why do you have all these months everywhere? I know they're going to say it. Like, I'm just waiting because they, yeah, they're going to be like, what is wrong with you, mother? Oh, from Sharon Hutchinson, will you carry the charts individually? Yes. So you don't have to buy the club. You can you can buy everything. We're going to have the floss separate. We're even going to have the one yard cuts of the linen and the Ada separately. Um, so we're going to have everything separately too. You, so you can buy it any way you would like. Like if you just wanted to do one month and not all of them. And the retail price of the pattern is six forty eight per month. And along similar lines from Robin B, will we be able to buy just the frame and floss if we don't want to buy the patterns? Yeah. But I don't know how you would do the, how you would do it if you didn't have the pattern. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, okay. From Threadneedle, where the mo will the monthly sampler always have a house in the design? I have no idea. So we have only mm. seen what she put on Instagram. Um, on Instagram, she put, um, stuff about january she listed the stitcher who's stitching it and then if you go to her website which is country cottage needleworks and s click on sampler of the month it tells you exactly um, the size that i had gone over which is 45 width by 125 height and it lists every skein color and the number of skeins you need and then when the patterns come out it will tell you by month what you need and it will also give you a dmc conversion when the pattern comes out from gwen smith is kimberly going to do the country cottage stitch of the month also oh yes i'm totally doing it i do want to mention also it's limited spots because of thread shortage so um we have the number from diane at country cottage that or at classic color works that is like the number she can fulfill for us so if you want to get in it um definitely do it now of course you can always buy everything separately later too but I just want to be upfront about the fact that we only have so many spots because of thread shortage, but hopefully the thread shortage will go away at some point when the world goes back to normal. Fingers crossed. From Suzanne McCallan, when you do 25 count, is it always stitched over two? So I do mine over two. Jan Hicks, who is, she has a YouTube channel, she does over one. And I'm going to meet her on Halloween. And so I'm going to actually have her, yeah, I'm going to go meet her if you want to come. Uh -huh. Okay. she's gonna be in, well she lives in san antonio and i'm going to a dance convention in san antonio so it's on halloween and so i'm gonna meet up with her at stitches from the heart which is a local store and i'm gonna actually ask her to show me how she does over one and i'm gonna show her i'm gonna ask her to show me how to do the pin stitch because i have watched so many videos and i just cannot get it so i'm gonna actually have her help me so that I, yeah and if you have any questions on any of that i would ask her I do not know how to stitch over one. I can barely see to stitch over two, so yeah. Uh, from Holly Neal, is there a video showing how to stitch with variegated floss, and do you stitch a row like usual, or should you jump around a little with stitching? Okay, so when you stitch with variegated floss, what you're supposed to do is start with two strands, do not do the loop method, and to stitch one X at a time. That gives you the most variegation, and that is what purists do. Now, what I do is I use one strand, I do the loop method, and I stitch however I want, whatever goes fastest. So it's kind of whatever you would like to do. To me, it does. I don't care about the variegation 
at all. So um, I just, whatever is fastest. And I showed you earlier how my pumpkins or how my Halloween text look compared to Cheryl's. And mine still has variegation. So, um, but Cheryl does do it the truest way. So she starts with two strands and she does one X at a time. Uh, from Jennifer Daniel Johnson, do the frames come with museum glass? No, they're, they don't even come with, on the back, they don't even have knobs. So what you would do is you would make, you would get um, like sticky board or poster board. It'd have to be thicker than poster board, but something thick, cover it with fabric, put it in. And then there's these little um, things you can buy at Hob Home Depot and you stick them in. And so we might do a tutorial on that, like how to do that. Um, Denise might do that. I'll probably be horrible and just send mine to the framer. <laughs> because, yeah, I don't really have time. From Jen Tracy, since the holes are smaller, do you skip holes in the linen? You go over two. And we have done a video with Cheryl, and Cheryl has worked for us for 14 years, almost mm -hmm. 14, because Emma is almost 14. So mm -hmm. she started, like, literally the week before Emma was born, um, and she did a video on it. From Jennifer Gregory, why does loop method make variegation not work? Okay, so when you loop it together, if you have, okay, can I have a floss, please? I'm going to show you. Do the Fright Night floss because that has the most variegation. Okay, I'm going to show you Fright Night. And I'm going to kind of show you, let's see. Yeah, it does. Okay. Okay, so it's going to be hard to see, but this is like, it goes dark, light, medium, light, dark. So if you do the loop method like this, you're going to get it all variegated throughout. If you keep two strands together when you start, you're going to, and you do one X at a time, you're going to literally get dark, medium, light you're going to get exactly the variegation that this thread has. But once you do the loop method, you're mixing all of the variegation together. So your stitch might have dark, light. But for me, I just, it doesn't matter to me because, you know, when I think about who comes to my house to look at my stuff, nobody that comes to my house knows about cross stitch. They just think it's pretty. You know, they, to me, it just doesn't matter in the big scheme of things. For me, I've got to get my work done. This is a job. This is like, I literally sat at home the last two days and just stitched um, to get caught up. So, I mean, I have to do things as fast as possible. And to me, the variegation doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter if I stitch with DMC, Weeks, Classic, any of it doesn't matter. I just like to stitch. Mm -hmm. So to me, I just think it's pretty no matter what. Like, I couldn't really tell you the difference between Denise's DMC pumpkins for sale and my Weeks Dye Works. I saw no difference in that. Um, it's never gonna look exactly the same, but to me, a pumpkin is a pumpkin. I don't know. I'm more, I guess I just think of it differently. Mm -hmm. I just want to stitch. Like, I don't care if it's, you know, I do care if it's perfect, but I don't care if, like, I don't know. To me, it just doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. I think it's pretty either way. Yeah. From Lori Holt, Kimberly, I also, I'll also show you how to do the pin stitch when you get here next month. It's a stitch to, hang on, sorry. I'm getting tongue tied. It's a stitch to use to stop and start if you're stitching with only one strand of floss. Yeah, so I know what it is, and I know how to start the stitch but I don't know how to end the stitch but yeah we're gonna figure it out when I come and we're gonna so she has a sewing machine I'm gonna show her how to use it too Ooh. we have everyday plans that's so cool except for one email that I need to send that she keeps reminding me she called me yesterday she's like have you sent that email I'm like no mm -hmm. I've been sitting in this chair for 20 hours stitching <laughs> <laughs> I'm like stuck to my chair oh. Uh, from Patricia Lewis, uh, the eight o'clock that you put in water for an hour to get rid of the lines, will this ruin the thread? I think it's the one that has the... What? The... Okay, so... Oh, oh, oh the waste canvas. Yes. yes. It's called... So, okay, so... The Easy Grid White. That, okay, that so I think she's yeah, talking about... It's called, like, Easy Grid, and it's white, and then mm -hmm. it has, like, blue lines yes. every 10 so that it grids it for you. I've never used the product, 
so I have no idea. I do think it will shrink a little bit. Um, I would probably get a little piece of that, do a little, like, you know, stitch a little pumpkin or something, mm -hmm. put it in water, see how it yeah. does mm -hmm. before you do a whole big piece. Mm -hmm. um, so it's called White Easy Count Grid, and we have 14 count, and we sell it in a fat quarter. We cut it ourselves here. Mm -hmm. um, but I've never tried it. Denise, have you? No, but they, we put directions of what was given. Okay, so Denise said on the package that she did, she wrote the directions from the from the manufacturer's site because we get it on a bolt, so we mm -hmm. copied and pasted their information to tell you what to do. Mm -hmm. And we've never tried it. No one in this room has tried it. Mm -hmm. I wonder if hot or cold water would affect it. Anyways. What does it say? 90 degree water. 90 degree water. I don't no. even know if that's hot. It is, it's hot. It's a little bit warm. It's hot. And you could maybe like look on YouTube and see, um, you know, easy count Ada experience, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to take a quick little break and I'm going to come right back. I'll be right back. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Trying not to bump the mic. Hello, everyone. Quick intermission here. Oh, thank you. Uh, my name is Lily. I didn't bring my phone up here. Denise, can you switch to top cam? It says Freddy on it. Freddy. On the, on the thing, Freddy Grego. Thank you. All right, so I wanted to show you today's flash sales first. Uh, we have Christmas buddies, mm -hmm. uh, greeting cards, cross stitch kit from Verveco. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, and yeah, it's a cross stitch kit that comes with uh, thread, cloth, pattern, and needles too, I think. Everything you need to get started. Super cute little Santa. And a reindeer and an owl. And the other flash sale for today is the Holly Jolly Holiday Cross Stitch Pattern by Heart and Hand. Also super cute. Look at that. I always wanted to try finishing something like that. Uh, and speaking of wanting to try things, uh, I finally started stitching. So this is my whip. It is a pattern called Farm Fresh from, oh here, I'll, I'll show this too. This is a little baggie that we did a while back. I think it was for So Sampler. Um, anyways, here's my pattern that I printed out. It's not the prettiest right now, but it's Farm Fresh by Tiny Modernist um, and Farm Fresh and Homegrown. I changed a lot of my colors because what happened was I got overexcited about two months into um, quarantine. Was like, I'm gonna cross stitch and that's when we were behind on order. So I was like, I'm not gonna bother um, our warehouse and overwhelm them with my order. So I went to Michael's and just like, I bought the pattern from us, downloaded it, it's a PDF. And then I went to Michael's and bought the hoop, the fabric. Um, this is a 14 count Ada. And something we carry that's similar is Natural Ada by Wichelt. Uh, I am using DMC, but what also happened at the store was that, again, this was the beginning of quarantine, so uh, there wasn't much thread, so I ended up just kind of going to the store and picking slightly similar colors and then changing out some colors uh, because, as an example, I there's a grapefruit in this right here, and I really, really dislike grapefruit. So I'm changing it to a lemon. So I picked like two different shades of yellow for that. Um, but yeah, this is my progress. I have not really ever cross stitched before. I just have a tiny piece I made a long time ago that doesn't really count. Um, this needle minder is actually uh, from this one cross stitch store that I went to with Kimberly in Las Vegas like a year and a half ago. Oh. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a little hedgehog and it says just one more page because I love reading and I love hedgehogs. Uh, so yeah, this is me starting on my cross stitch journey. Uh, and I wanted to share that with you guys. That's a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but yeah. And if you want to cut back to front camera. I don't know how to do it. Oh, we can do that. <laughs> I don't even remember that pattern. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna show you. Okay, I'm afraid things are about to fall. Okay, so Prim Stitch Series number four. I'm gonna show you right here. 
This is called Kindness and Generosity. It's the part four. If you are in the Prim Stitch Series Club, this shipped out two days ago. If you are not in the club, the pattern for this will be on sale on October 12th. And Lori is so nice to finish it for me. So this is her medium frame. And the color that she used on the pane is Morning Sky. And we have started adding that on the back of each pattern so that if you want to paint yours just like Lori did. Now this is available, there's 12 patterns. You can stitch them individually or in a big chart. Now Lori has stitching hers um, in a big chart, so you can see it that way. And there is a pop-up of Lori's. And the fabric she's using to finish mine is her Prim collection. And so if you wanna stitch it as one, that is what it looks like. So you can see we're through part four and on this one, we are using this Prim Aura Floss Box. We have less than 100 left, and we'll have more later in the year. I did want to let you know all of our Aura Fill is 30% off for the month of October. So if you thought this box was expensive, it is 30% off for this month. And if you like Lori's colors, she also has this box, which is her B Basics. So if you want to get that, that is 30% off. And she has some new paper products that I'm gonna show you. These are some new notebooks. So this one is long and skinny, and this one is wider. And then this one is my favorite. This is a big notebook, and this is modeled after her Prim Village um, quilt and her cross stitch and I'm going to show you the cross stitch so if you are a quilter you can make the quilt here is the cross stitch that I made Lori obviously designed it and Lori finished it for me so if you made this now you can have the notebook to match and so these you can just search Lori Holt notebooks and these are the three notebooks so cute so, and one of them, let's see, yeah, there you go. So that is new by Lori, and then also by Lori, she has some new cloth. It's, the Ada is very limited supply for now. We're going to have more later. So this is Breeze, Malted Milk, and Shadow. I'm going to show you on this, though, because I think the colors are coming off funny on the brown. Mm -hmm. There you go. So this is Breeze. It's kind of a light blue. This is Shadow. It's gray. And this is Malted Milk. Now, these are just solid colors. These are 14 count. Malted Milk has a variegated look. So one side is variegated, and then the other side is just plain white. So you would use this side. So those are three of the colors. I'm gonna keep adding. This is Speed Sack. So this is more of a tan, which would look great on the brand new sampler of the month, except this would be 14 count. She has a barely pink, which is so cute. I've, I've got to figure out what to make on that because I love pink. So those are the Adas that she has. And they're 14 count. Now for 25 count, she has some new colors. This is shadow. So it's the same as this. So if you want to look at them together, the Ada is a little bit whiter than the 25 count. This is Farmhouse. So looking at that next to Feed Sack, you can see this has more of a pinker tone than this. This one is my very favorite. This is Pebble. I am very excited about that one. 
that one we're going to do something fun with. I'm not sure what. And then parchment. 25 count. And tomato. 25 count. So these are all of her new cloths. Let me know if y'all have any questions on the colors before I put them up and I'll try to make them make them kind of fit. Let's see. Uh, while I wait for questions to roll in, I'll answer a few questions people had when I was up there that I missed. Uh, Pokey Little Pineapple was asking if I was tracking my hours. <laughs> I am not right now because I am trying to just take it easy on myself and not pressure myself to go at a certain pace. Uh, yeah, but and Lily's the next not like OCD like me. Lily's chill. <laughs> chill. I, I pretend to be. Um, well, I mean, you're very like relaxed. So to her, it's not going to matter. Like, and also like, I also feel like if you're not doing it, like for a job, you don't really have to track it. I have to track it because I got to plan my day. Yeah. Like right after this, I know exactly what I'm doing. I got to film. I got to do a cross stitch. I got to stitch tonight. Like I get it all planned. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, because I showed the hedgehog needle minder, uh, Deborah Henderson says she has a hedgehog. She had a hedgehog, and used to bathe him daily. And was asking if I had one. I do not, but I would really like to get one one day. And do you his, think your dogs would let you have a hedgehog? That's the, part of the yeah I don't concern. Think your dogs. They're also nocturnal, and I just have like visions of it staring at me in the middle of the night from its cage or something so you don't have to put it in your room <laughs> i would feel bad i don't know anyways so but i think hedgehogs are amazing uh and maybe one day i will have one okay from jacqueline yvonne woodard do you know if Lori is going to make a prim village quilt block for the prim village quilt yeah there is a quilt already so her, she always starts with her quilts first so there is a prim village quilt already and it it came in a box i'm not sure if we still have them but it came in a box and it was pre-packaged and riley blake is going to be releasing those patterns like after all the quilt kits are sold out so the let's see prim village quilt kit can you scroll down no go up did that come in a box mm -hmm. Yeah, so that one came in a box, and so you have to buy the quilt kit. It's called Prim Village Quilt Kit, but in the future, Riley Blake will release the pattern, and it will be called Prim Village. Mm -hmm. uh, and then lots of people were also just saying they loved the malted milk. Oh, yeah, so here, let's see. Maybe in the front camera. It's very pretty. You can kind of see the... And so again, these are all very limited quantities just because um, they got them in and then they cut a certain amount and sent them and then that's what they're gonna do is like get them in, cut them, and then basically it comes from Germany, they cut it, they ship it. So there's kind of a time lag right now. But yes, and I'm gonna get some of these today so that I have them. I'm gonna buy like five of every color. Ooh. Well, cause we have like a drawer that we keep all the fabric in and then when we need to match, like we just pull from the drawer. Mm -hmm. From Holly O'Brien, she says, hi, the Snapshot Club are all done on Farmhouse 10 Count. They are, and I'm going to show you uh, March and April. Excellent. Is March here? I think that's oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to show it yeah. next, because I've been working on that, too. So I did forget. Okay, I'm going to hand this to Denise so I don't drop it. Sorry. I did forget to show you this. So Lori also came out with her Ooh. Happy Place office bundle. And I did buy this and it is in my desk. Ooh. So it comes with all kinds of things. It comes, okay, hold on. It comes with bookmarks, three bookmarks, stickers. Okay, you need stickers, right? This awesome notebook and this is the one that I was looking for that was graph paper so this one is graph paper the others are lined that's what I was kind of looking for some pencils washi tape paper clips these you can label your um, file folders and some post-it notes and there are some file folders in the bottom oh yep Super so handy. there's three file folders mm -hmm. and if you wanted to you could kind of put, you could like add tabs to it. That's what you do is you would fold these over. 
So I had fun playing with these. So yeah, I bought all of this. I'm a sucker. I was like, I gotta have all this. Because <laughs> um, she's gonna come out with a lot of stuff like this so that you can have your sewing room just as cute as your office. Ooh. So I forgot to show that. So if you want the lined paper, those are the separate notebooks. The graph paper is for the My Happy Place bundle. And if you wanted to do something like I did where I did the double pumpkins, you could draw it out on graph paper. And she made it small so that it will work for the cross stitch so you can like really draw something out. Mm -hmm. uh, from Bumble Stitches, will Lori have any new desi designs on these colored cloths? Um, she's going to just keep coming out with cloth. So that is her new cloth. I think we have all the colors now, don't we? Mm -hmm. Except for the black Ada we don't have yet. We don't have the black Ada yet. There's like a couple of colors we don't have yet, but um, she'll just keep coming out with stuff. And as she as she um, comes out with it, they email me, I place an order, and then, yeah. From Jen N, do you think white stitching will show up on malted milk? No. I think you would probably have to do more of a tan. Because it's definitely a white base with a little bit of tan on top. I don't think it would show up very good. Okay, so now I'm gonna move to whips, which is like um, everything that we're working on here at that quarter shop. So here's my whip for the week. I am working on snapshots. This is our club that somebody was just talking about. It is 10 count. They all come on 10 count farmhouse. It's cute, right? Oh, it's really cute. So each month you will get the pattern by Pine Mountain Designs, you will get the fabric. This is how much fabric you will have left over because I haven't even trimmed mine down. So you can kind of save some of this if you want to do something later. And you will get the DMC. Now my DMC, this is how it looks when I'm working on something. What I do is I usually start off like this. These are my floss flowers. And sometimes I just get where I just put them all on here. It's just messy, but this is how I kind of work. This bag I bought probably six months ago from Dot Dot Goose, and we give you this sheet. Now this is my working sheet. So um, I have my notes for Denise, and so when you get yours, it will be recolored. It will not be this, but it will be our colors, and it will be DMC. I feel like DMC looks a lot better on uh, the 10 count than a, than, um, a hand dyed, and this is my size 24 needle. So I'm almost done. All I have to do is the duck with the umbrella. But yeah, I have it all ready to go. And then I've got to add the whiskers to the to the bunnies and um, the eyes. But I'll do that last. I usually do all my... And you can see, okay, I got this literally, took it out of the package, didn't iron it. So you don't have to iron before you start, and I'll just iron it at the end. So that is one of my whips. I've probably spent about five or six hours on it. I love the colors. This one is really cute. But that's what I mean about I'm going to have the months all over my house. The next one Ashley worked on, it is Mistletoe Lane. Ooh. I know. Look at how good she's doing. Good, Ashley. She's stitching on 14 count Graceful Gray by Witchell, mm -hmm. and she's using DMC. And this was our mystery for Jolly July. So just like we have the Fright Night, this was a mystery and this was like part one. And so she just bought it after and she's filling it in. It looks really good. Mm -hmm. And so you can see she's got fabric on the side. So she's got room and then she used painter's tape mm -hmm. and cause she doesn't have a machine. So um, you can use painter's tape so it won't ravel. Mm -hmm. So that is Ashley's. And then this one is Cheryl's. It's Quaker Pumpkin by Hello from Liz Matthews. Is she done? No. She's still not done. Okay. She's got the bottom Ooh. row. I know. Look at wow. it. It's okay. Let me get it to fit. It's so amazing. So, so Cheryl is stitching on 32 count vintage spooky. Sorry, I can't talk. 32 count vintage smoky white linen from her stash. She's using the called four weeks dye works and it looks great so she's just got let's see she's got the top the side and she's got the bottom so this is kind of 
gonna be so pretty it's so pretty oh my gosh I wonder how many hours it's taking her oh my goodness so pretty and then our last whip for this week is oh my gosh she did it in purple yeah I didn't know okay so here's your purple Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't see it yet. So Noelle is making this. Mm. And she does all of the cross stitch patterns, loading them to the site, and notions. So she is using 14 count province fabric flare. And she's using the DMC pack. And oh my gosh, the, the purple. I didn't know she was doing a purple when y'all said that. I was I couldn't hear what y'all were saying back there. Oh. <laughs> And so she cut hers down. On, on fabric flare on the back, it's always white. Just Ooh. a plain white, they screen print on the top. So if you were gonna buy fabric flare, your consistency is always gonna be really good. Like if you buy this purple one day and then a year later you buy another purple, it should be exactly the same. Whereas if you bought something from someone who hand dyes, it's not gonna be exactly the same every time because this is screen printed. Okay, the next one is brand new, loaded to the site today. It's called Gingerbread Cottage. And it is Gingerbread Cottage Holidays with Housewives. That is what they're gonna call this event. It's stitching with the housewives. Now, I want to show you what um, Priscilla and Chelsea stitched. They stitched on Aqua. So when they stitched, they told me they were stitching on aqua, but I just wasn't paying attention. So I stitched it on black and they were like, oh, it looks good on black. I was like, oh, was I supposed to stitch it on something else? <laughs> so I, this is what I stitched mine on. And the colors that I used are what I had in my stash. So I used Classic Color Works Ribbon Red, Brown Sugar, Bamboo, Tennessee Red Clay for the cheeks, Steamed Broccoli, Black Coffee, Blushing Beauty and Jolly Holly. Actually, I didn't use Jolly Holly in this one. And I did fill in the black. I did, let's see, I did fill in the black here in the windows and in the eyes. It's so cute. So there's gonna be four of these ornaments. And so this is the first one. And they're gonna be all gingerbread themed. And there's going to be, they're going to release one a week on every Wednesday in the month of October. So this is the first one and they're going to have all their stitched on aqua. I'm going to stitch all of them on chalkboard black witchel and I'm going to send them to Priscilla. She's going to finish on the same exact way she did the Jolly July ornament so that I have eight total. So that's a finish. And I got to start a new book. So I'll show you. I finished um, I finished my other stitching journal. So you can see I stitched this and I didn't even know the name of the chart yet. So I have to fill that in. So I got to start a new one and this bag is also by Dot Dot Goose Designs. And this is my thread. So I'm excited that I have that finished. So I have been busy. And this is my piggy. It's called Ba Hum Pug. Ba Hum Pug. Some other finishes this week are also from Cheryl. So we've been busy. These are her stitch tobers. This is Haunted by Misty Purcell of Luminous Fiber Arts. So she has two of these done. Oh my goodness, they're so pretty. She stitched on 32 count ancient linen by Picture This Plus. She used the called for DMC and she said a good substitute would be Rin by Picture This Plus. Now our Picture This Plus Ada sold out way faster than we would have ever predicted. It is all on reorder and will be back in stock. We did load their linen, which we're gonna show you a little bit later today. So those are some finishes. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I wonder, did she say if she's gonna do an ornament? And we're gonna order this color. So the ancient linen is on order. Now my other finish, because I told you I've been sitting in a chair for 20 hours, is March Snapshots. Oh. It looks good, right? Yes, so cute. So Cody and Denise picked the colors for the club on this one, and it looks so good. So you can see like they're supposed to be like a French knot on the, 
on the bird and I totally didn't do a French knot because I just didn't want to. But it's so cute, I love it. So this, we have a blog on this where we tell you where you can get this frame. It's just a standard eight by 10 frame. And so if you haven't signed up for this club, definitely sign up. Uh, Denise is ordering all the floss on this so we will close the club at some point okay so let me know if you'll have any questions on any of all of that because that was a lot mm -hmm. <laughs> um but i do hope to have all of my stitchtober all of my goals met next week and the april finished and i need to start part nine of prim stitch series uh priscilla martin had said i like it better on the black oh well thanks because i was like oh i was supposed to I totally forgot that I was supposed to stitch it on aqua, but that's okay. They're going to all match my tree. Uh, from Liz Henselmeyer, how many strands do you use on 10 count? Four. So I take uh, two strands, loop it, that becomes four. And we are putting notes in and it will tell you um, the colors. So for example, I'll show you this. So we give you an insert card that tells you what colors and then you can just write them on here. And so these are the colors she had. We used our own colors and Denise does a really nice insert card. And then I, if I use two skeins, I'll write it. And if I get close, you know, where I'm really low, I'll, we'll put two skeins in. Uh, from Jennifer Gregory, when will the first shipment of Snapshot go out? January. Early January. And so in the future, we will, when we do those monthly clubs, we'll kind of start them November, December, but we're doing a monthly this time because of DMC being able to get it. Um, and so there's like a delay, but we did, we'd already started it before we figured that out and we just wanted to do the club anyway. From Sharon Lemoine, will there be more thread kits for pumpkins for sale? Thanks and I enjoy the live stream. Yes. That is, Weeks Dye Works is a little bit behind. We hope to have it in about two to three weeks. Um, we just have a lot on order with them, and so, yeah. From Miesia Osby, is it bad to keep your work stored in a Q-snap, and what is the ideal way to store projects when working on multiple projects? The way I store them is in bags individually so that I can find them. And I literally just throw them in there. Now, if I was using a Q-snap, I would take it out of the Q-snap before I put it in the bag. You don't have to. Some people do, some people don't. I think it's more personal preference, but I literally, sometimes if it's a really big piece, I'll roll it. And if it's like a small piece, I just throw it in there. I just, um. It's not gonna hurt it being stored in the hoop or snap though, right? Like. Um. If it's on stitches, it probably would. Like if you have the snap on top of stitches, oh, it will probably yes. hurt it. But if it's just on top of fabric, it won't. Got it. Okay. Also asking for myself here. <laughs> From Michelle... Take it out of your hoop, Lily. <laughs> From Michelle M, are all the claws 14 count Ada? For Lori's, they are. Okay. Uh, and then question from earlier from Mary Ashcraft, why is batting or interfacing used when making ornaments? Oh, well, I can show you. Okay, so right here, these were part of the Jolly July series. And like I said, I did them on chalkboard black and she's gonna use the same so that I have eight that match. They did release, Stitching with the Housewives released Jolly Claws and Mary Miss Claws as a paper pattern where they're both included. They previously were just PDFs. So if you wanted them on paper, they're here. So she'll put batting here so that it's a little bit fluffier and then no batting on the fabric. And that makes this just, also with your stitching, it won't show as much, um, it won't show as much, um, like if there's a wrinkle in the fabric or something, you won't see it as much because there's batting on there. But you don't have to use batting. And she just uses, when she finishes my stuff, she just uses um, regular white batting. She doesn't use black batting or anything. And then I'm going to show you what else is new. So this is one of our new items. So cute. I had to bring these from home. almost forgot them. There are some other new Stitching with the Housewives items. This is up on the housetop. If you bought this as a pre-sell, um, we shipped those yesterday and today. Candy Cane Coop. 
So these were both these are both brand new and these both just shipped. I'm going to be stitching this one in December with them as a stitch along, part of a bigger stitch along. And trucking along December has also arrived and I love it. Um, this is a club and the club also shipped in the last couple of days. So four new items from Stitching with the Housewives. One day I think we're going to have like 10 all in one week. She's releasing so many. There are some other new items. These are the brand new Vivilux clips. You can clip these on your glasses. And they are a little bit different this time. They're bigger and they have a white light, a red light, and a green light. So these are the new ones. They're, the previous ones that were smaller have been discontinued. Some other new patterns are Autumn Arches. That is so cute. It's by Bent Creek. Is it new or is it just a re-release? New to us. It's new to us, but it's an older pattern, but I love it. And if I had this before, I probably would have done this as stitched over. They also have Halloween Arches. And then Halloween in the Round by JW, JBW Designs. And um, she's got some great two-toned things. She's also got a tree, Christmas tree. I found her designs at Shepherd's Bush. And then Hen's Halloween by Tiny Modernist. And Mouse's Halloween Stitching by Tiny Modernist. Do you like that one, Lily? That's very cute. That's cute, right? And then... The very last part of Halloween Ouija is out, so we will put together a set of all five. That just came in. And then Christmas Square Dance 4 by Heart and Hand. So there's three on each one, so now there's a total of 12. And she actually on her site has a layout if you wanna go like this. And it will show you um, how you can put all 12 together. So I have that kind of on my list for the future. Another new one is Halloween Quaker by Lila's Studio. And then I wanted to let you know that Starlit Snowflake by It's So Emma is now available as a PDF. So if you're an international customer and you didn't buy it because of postage, it is now available as a PDF. And Priscilla finished this for us. Thank you, Priscilla. So pretty. We also have some more fabric from Picture This Plus. Fiber on a whim. Sorry. This is hand dyed. This is 28 count. That color is cypress. Sorry, I'm, everything's sticking together. And this is also cypress. So this is 14 count, and this is 28 count. So you can see that they take the dye differently. Mm -hmm. So those are cypress. The next ones are night sky, and they're 28 count. So this is 28 count. And this is 14 count. So look at the difference. So our, we're going to have photos of all of this on our site, and it will come already with the... Um, Surging done, and these are all sold as fat quarters. Now this is picture this plus, and this is the 28 count Lugana, or tw just 28 count. This is shadow. So our, our we showed the 14 count last week, and that will be coming back in stock. That is shadow, tarnish, Sterling, Dapple, Shale, and Petals. And um, I discovered that Shale means a rock because I didn't know what it was. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. I had no idea it was a rock. So those are some new ones. And then also by Picture This Plus, there's a lot more. And we will add higher counts later, but we really want to start with 14 and 28. We have Earthen, Tycho, Sand, Legacy. Legacy is used in a lot of designers' patterns. 
Rin. And then Rin also is available in 14 count now. So I'm gonna show you the difference in the two next to each other. So just so you see, Ada and Linen hand-dyed is always gonna to look totally different, but when we put it on our site, we will have photos of the actual Ada or Linen so that you can see it. And just like I said, if you buy this one day and then a year later you come back and buy this, it's gonna be a little bit different because it's all um, done hand-dyed. Now we're going back to 28 count. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Calypso. It's really bright. That looks like, that looks like Lily would like that. Yes. <laughs> Whirlpool. Glacier. That's really pretty. Mint. And Serene. And you can see we kind of tried to get a variety of colors. And we do, um, we got some requests for other colors. And Denise has already ordered them. Kermit. This is used in a lot of Brenda Gervais patterns. And then Phoenix. I'm going to show you. This is the 28 count and the 14 count. So those look similar. Mm -hmm. But you can see that all the dye looks different. So that is what we have new today. I'm happy to answer any questions. Mm -hmm. uh. Oh, Jennifer Couillette was saying, I don't know if it was mentioned, but the Hedgehog Needle Minder is by The Clever Clove. She has tons of super cute pins and stationery. I did not know that. I'll okay, sure and her, the store we went to is, what is it called? So I don't people, remember. It's, okay, so if you just Google Cross Stitch Store Las Vegas, it's very well known, and you can call them and order it. Um, mm -hmm. Stitches, it's got stitches in the name. We'll I know that. It. We'll find it. But yes, it was a very nice store. Yeah, Denise will Google it, and we'll see. And then we can we can buy it, maybe. Maybe we should just buy it. How about that? <laughs> How about Denise just figures it out, and we'll buy it? Um, okay. And then, That's what Lily gets for bringing stuff on. I'm sorry. From us. It was cute. Stitcher's Paradise. Stitcher's Paradise. Stitcher's Paradise. And if you ever in Vegas and want to go, it's really nice. Um, I've been there twice. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if I'm ever going to get to go back to Vegas. I don't know if I'm ever going to go anywhere. Aww. It's okay. I did go, I was telling Lily, I did go, my friends from high school, they have a party every year, every year, since 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. On, it's called, what do they call it? Festivus. I don't know, something. October, Oktoberfest. And they dress up as like the, the beer maidens in Germany. Mm -hmm. And so this year we had it outside because of COVID. So it was outside, it was all the same people. It's just like five couples every year, five or six. And I have all these mosquito bites all over me. And on Monday, I had a huge like patch right here. Mm -hmm. It was it was horrible because when I go outside, I just get bit by bugs. But it was outside. It was really fun. Um, but then our kids went on the ATV with like you know my friends from high school. And when they left, Kevin said, "Do you think that our kids think that your friends really dress like this all the time? Because <laughs> they all had them on except us." And I was like, mm, maybe. And, I, and then we were like, yeah, probably one day when they're 20, they're going to be like, do you remember that time every year you took us to this and your friends were dressed up weird? Oh. Or your friends weird? <laughs> That's hilarious. And I was like, I didn't even think about it because we go every year. Yeah. And we used to not take the kids, but now everybody has kids. Like, mm -hmm. my kids are, like, older than most of them. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, it was fun. That's but it was good. all outside, but I am, like, bitten up. I've got my whole back, everything. I'm just like, mm. that's why I don't go outside, guys. And I was sniffling because of the um, he. It's we went out in the middle of the country, and there was like cypress trees, and those mm. trees will mm -hmm. cedar trees. I'm like, oh. Yeah. Uh, Kathleen O'Grady says, Kimberly, on the candy cane coop, are you going to change the chickens to pugs? Oh yeah, I'm not doing a chicken. <laughs> it's okay. Like Priscilla and Chelsea, don't get mad that I don't do the chickens. They're not insulted. <laughs> That's funny. I did one though. I did it once, and then I, I was like, it. you know what? I probably could talk Priscilla into drawing me something. That's funny. <laughs> and now she's kind of stuck doing it. Poor Priscilla. Uh, from Kimberly M. Honey, what is Vivilux? Okay, Vivilux is a brand. So, and uh, Denise and I actually had like a thirty-minute Zoom call with him. 
So Vivilux is the brand. It's under Harbor Sales, and they do a lot of lights, not just for the crafting industry. So he told us that the reason that there's red and green on here now is for hunters, deer hunters, right? And so they don't just sell this to craft industry. Um, oh, so okay. I don't know what that means if when you're hunting in the dark, you use the red and green. I don't know. I don't know okay. anything about hunting. Um, okay. But it's, yeah. they're it's not meant for like your cross stitch. It's too. meant for, for like all the industries, I guess. Okay. And so they don't just sell to the craft. But I was, he was talking about deer hunting, and I don't know what he was talking about. I kind of zoned out. So I was like, uh. <laughs> um, oh, that's right. Denise is telling me. Okay, so for quilting, the red light is for color. So you can see color differences. So a couple mm -hmm. years ago, they came out with these red glasses by Quilt in a Day. And you put them on, and you put your colors out, like your fabric out, and it will tell you if your color is going to show up. I don't know how to do it, but it's something like that. It's for the red light. Just Google red glasses quilting and you'll see what that means. Mm -hmm. I don't do it, so I don't know. But I know that they sold like crazy. Like when they first came out, it was nuts. Mm -hmm. From Sharon Hutchinson, will there be a fiber on a whim club? Oh my goodness, I don't know. I don't know, Denise has a lot on her list, so I don't know, we'll see. We need to see how everything sells. But yes, we have a lot on our list already for January, and we we are starting the NPI Silk Club soon, so I've shown those on a previous one. I think I might have to enroll myself in it. Yeah. From Linda Hogan, would Calypso work for the new Christmas patterns by Priscilla? Well, let's see. We'll put the pattern next to the fabric. Do you have the pattern? Yeah, I think. Okay. The fabric's here. Oh, no, it's not. That's night sky. Oh, sorry. Yes, you're right. This is Calypso, so let's put the pattern next to it. Wait, that's Cypress. Okay, hold on. She said that's Cypress. Calypso's that Calypso's bright blue. blue. It's this one down here, this one right here. It's this one. See, we over here cross stitchers and, and Lily's, we got it all. <laughs> Oh, you know, let me see the ornament that I did. The ornament that I just did, that's what they're asking about. The ornament that's in the bag. You took the bag, I think. Or maybe I have the bag, hold on. Um, yeah, that. I'm like, that's what they're asking about. I'm like, wait, what? Yes. So this is what I think she's asking. I think that would look good. Okay, we can. Oh yeah, and then I'll there. go like this. Okay, hold on, let me. It only took me five minutes to figure out the question <laughs> and. Got it. Yeah, that would look good, I think. And uh, this, um, the one that Priscilla dyed that I'm trying to point to right there, Priscilla dyed that, I believe. Mm, so okay. she, um, and she has a video on how to hand dye with writ dye. Uh, oh. Okay. From Joanne McCoon, at what count do you start going over two threads? Linen. 25 count. 25 count. 25 count and up so 25 to 40 and I was gonna say something and I can't remember if it says linen or Lugana or even weave that's also an indication mm. that was what I was gonna say okay. uh, yeah and Angela Stoudinger at the beginning of the live stream wanted to remind everyone to give it a thumbs up yes and subscribe to our channel we need some subscribers Ooh. So guys, have a great week. I hope that in all of this stuff that we've inspired you in some way. I can't wait to see you next week. And I can't wait to see how much stitching I can get done this week. So have a great week, everybody. Bye, everyone.